Surely happiness can be found. Surely there's someone for me. Oh, who cares? Yes, who cares for me? Good to see you, Hunter. I have recently hunted polar bear and grizzly bear for the 2017 Christmas event and I have noticed quite some changes in the behavior of these two bear types. I'm here in White Ram Ridge and I will go after polar bear first and I want to show you the difference. What has happened is when they introduced polar bear and grizzly bear, these animals had very, very characteristic behavior. When you approached a polar bear, they would almost always stand their ground uh, they were rather easy to shoot, but they would also attack you whether you detected them or not. They would also always come for you. And this for some reason has changed. And now I see that these two bear types behave exactly the same as brown bear. You can lure brown bear and black bear. You can bait them with baiting sites. And you cannot lure the hello sheep. You cannot lure polar bear or grizzly bear. There is no uh, lure for them. So it was rather easy to run up to them. And now, like I said, they behave like brown bear. And what that means is when you come close, they will always flee. And they're really hard to track down. They're very sensitive. Uh, so this has changed for some reason without further notice. I don't know why that is. But uh, first I would like to show you from an example from a former video how the polar bear used to behave. Polar bear ahead. I received a call from a female bear. Now my hope is that she will be aggressive enough for our new toy here to try out. At this point I'm not concerned with the performance. There you go. So whenever you found polar bear tracks, you would just follow those tracks and eventually catch up with the bear and then have a standoff. It was rather easy to shoot them unless you were mauled by them. And now we have perfectly fine a bear ahead of us here. And I have to start walking because I have to show you the difference. I want to show you the bear because it's going to run. And the other thing that I've noticed is I'm here in the northeast end of White Ram Ridge. I used to find four or five bears every time here. And now I can barely find two of them. So somehow it seems to me that they have reduced the numbers in addition to the changes to the behavior of the bear. So I've always run at them, which kind of caught them by surprise. So you had enough time to get your weapon ready before the bear turned and went after you. I wouldn't have walked usually. But since the bear changed, it's so much different. As soon as it will hear me run, or walk, it'll just run. So it seems it's already gone. It's nowhere to be seen. That's how fast it disappeared.
Let's check out this track up here. So I walked over here. The bear came my way up to here. And this will be fleeing. So now the bear is fleeing. This could have happened in the past as well. And that also happened with the grizzly bear. Every now and then you would have one fleeing. But only once, maybe twice. Actually the polar bear I'm thinking it might have fled once, but not more than that. It would always stand still again. And then you could catch up with it. It's a bit different with the grizzly. And they really both had their very distinctive behavior characteristics. Polar bear different to grizzly bear, different to the other two bear types. And now this is brown bear in white. They call, you can uh, locate them. But then that's it. From there forward, it is sneaking. So the bear has calmed down here. You can see the circle becoming very small. And now I would say usually, here is the bear. But now you can forget it. That is fleeing tracks again. So let's just try and uh, hunt it properly. I will go back to walking, then crouching. But um, this has become very tedious. If you've ever hunted brown bear without a barrel, just out there in the woods trying to catch up with a nice bear, you could be lucky in Val de Bois because there's a lot of open areas around the rivers. But um, in Hemeldal, really difficult to catch up to especially high scoring ones after they have um, calmed down they don't stand there they will still walk around and I find it really difficult to hunt, hunt brown bear and now the polar bear seems different uh, seems uh, seems equal to that so to me it seems they have copied the brown bear behavior the only difference, of course, of, uh, for brown bear, uh, for polar bear will be that they will flee on the floats, but at the end of the day, that's actually not a different behavior. That's just a different area that they can go to. And by the way, the other day when I noticed uh, this change, I saw a polar bear out on the floats. It was maybe 150 meters out and it was running away from me. That would never have happened quite the opposite when they were close near the shore you could lure them over by just jumping around doing some dancing and they would come after you you could uh, actually get them off the floats like that they would jump in the water swim towards you and come after you but here with the polar bear change this is this is now impossible so i'll start crouching and try to catch up here I'm going to apply Send Eliminator to increase my chances. And you can see even while crouching for a while Bear is nowhere to be seen. And that really means you will have to start shooting them from far. It doesn't run really far, but it runs fast. And it will detect you from far away. So there's fleeing tracks again. And I've been coming up behind this hill there. 
So seeing wouldn't even, even be the sense it has used, if you will. It didn't see me, it might have heard me, it might have smelled me. So really I have to get a chance to have a long view somewhere between me and the bear, no vegetation, nothing in between, no hills, so that I can get a shot at it. If I detect it and it's standing somewhere, I will not shoot it, I will just go closer just to show you what you have to uh, expect, at which distance it will flee. The goal here really isn't to shoot the bear, but to, but to show you how uh, skittish it is. Let's just use the um, rangefinder quickly, since we now see it. So there's the bear at 77 meters. It's a female, not even a high-scoring bear that we're looking at here. And there it runs, 60 meters away. Over 60 meters away, bear runs. Now that we know the distance, maybe we can get a shot. But you can tell this is different. This is very different. There she goes. And you will have to be lucky getting a sight for a long shot. I think I will be lucky up here on this hill. I just heard her, so she ran over here. Well then, I thought she was gonna run along the shore. Oh, that is the shore, <laughs> looking at the hunter mate. So she had to get through here. And let's see where she's gonna be at. But I've noticed sometimes they will run out of render even. They will just run very far and you have a hard time finding them. So there goes the bear. And like said, the goal here is not to shoot the bear, but to show you how much more difficult polar bear hunting has become. Maybe we get another chance here. As we look over this hill. Of course I was moving in. But I'm wearing the camo clothes. And But that's not even the point. The point is they flee. Period. They never fled before or very rarely would flee. That was not their standard behavior. So there you go. Back into the woods. Good luck finding it there. I think there's a uh, there's a small, a narrow stripe of trees here. We might get, as we get out of the trees here, we might get a, a, a last view. It's certainly my last attempt. I'm not gonna sneak around here after this bear. I think I've shown the point. So you see this becomes this becomes brown bear hunting. It's a little bit easier because white rhyme is usually a bit more open. The polar bears are more along the shores. By the way, you can hunt them just nicely. Uh, on the shore. You never have to go out on the floats. Um, but then of course when it behaves like this it's more difficult. So here the trees should end somewhere. Another hill ahead. One last chance to get a view. The fox agrees.
That's a female Arctic fox. Pretty close. Um, less skittish than the bear. The Arctic fox is also very skittish. Maybe it just walked in, but, but still. So this is the last hump here. Let's just get up here. But if the bear was stopping behind the hill here, it might have hurt me and ran again. Yell if you see it. Oops. I just lost the vantage point. Slid down the hillside. Could be over there somewhere. So polar bear attacking will be a lot more difficult. And I just quickly check the missions. No missions yet for the polar bear, but the grizzly bear has a mission that asks you to shoot them with the 454 while it's charging you. Well, good luck with that then. We're done with the polar bear here. I would have to keep sneaking and hoping for that ideal setup where I can see the bear from far and it cannot see me. That's the change for the polar bear. Let's go have a look in Timbergold Trails. This is Timbergold Trails in the south of the map. And uh, this is south of the river where there is no elk, so there's a bigger chance for finding the grizzly bear. Let's get, let's get going right away. I will not pay attention to any other animals. This is a good area where there's always grizzly bear. And I feel the same regarding the numbers. Although the numbers have reduced before the recent change, and I'm talking about the change here uh, with the behavior that must be a few weeks old maybe, but the grizzly bear numbers have been reduced a few months ago. There used to be many, many of them. I used to run into them all the time. I shot a lot of them. Happily, I shot over 1,000 already. And now there's a lot less bears, and when you find them, they flee. So I'll do the same here, very same uh, scenario. Run around, look for tracks. It might take a while again because there's not too many around anymore. And once I found, find one, uh, I will sneak up to it. Actually, I will run up to it to show the difference. There's a track here. Is that gonna be grizzly? No, it's deer, so I'll have to be patient with finding one like set, this is now more difficult. And of course, likewise to the polar bear, I want to show you from a former video what uh, grizzly bear hunting used to be like. I hear another bear. This is crazy, where are you? Sounds like it's on the road. Come on, man. <laughs> hit it but what yeah it's a bad shot this will take too long this is when I pull out the rifle and 
man when the bear hides. <laughs> so I have found the bear, picked up a few tracks so that I know which direction it went to. It's a small female. And I will repeat the scenario, catch up with the bear, and then just run up to it, right? It's in range already. That's very recent. This is an old track. So she should be right here. At this point I would usually hear the bear breathe even when running. I can hear it over here. I can hear a bear. Let's check it out. Oh, there, there's a track. That's an old track. My lady crossed the river. I cannot hear this bear now. Hearing bears was one way for finding them. And running towards that location, you would find it. Now I have to admit I didn't try hard to find the one that I heard and I was a bit surprised to even hear it here's my lady again and here's the fleeing track now like said before you could have the situation where a grizzly would flee and I think I've had a grizzly that would flee three times at most. I cannot think of a grizzly that kept running. So it'll flee, it'll stop, try to go to idle mode, but then when you catch up, it'll either stand its ground or flee. At least that used to be the behavior, but now you will see all I'm getting is fleeing and I will not even try and follow this there was this one competition the other day for the Christmas event where uh, we should we had to shoot three different types of bears black bear brown bear and grizzly so I baited the other two I came here I thought this was gonna be the easiest just go in just find one and I had a good size bear uh, near the 300 kilograms and I spent a lot of time tracking it and that's when I decided to come here and uh, make this video to show the difference the bear has gone to roaming will it give me a chance this time I hear breathing on the left So for example, this used to be a good situation here where the bear was within these shrubs here. You wouldn't know where it was going to come after you. So this was kind of this was kind of fun. I have to admit many times it was too easy. But for bow hunting and stuff, there's a male bear calling right now, so I will abandon the female. I will run at the male. So we even have two samples to prove the point here so it was kind of fun to bow shoot them revolver and weapons and uh, guns 
any type of gun was not really hard unless there was the uh, terrain or the vegetation giving you some some challenge but with bows it was uh, it was quite good this is not a huge male so i've um i've i've i skipped the first b uh, bear track that i found and uh, because it was one hour old then i followed the second which was the lady that we just lost and this this would be the third bear that we find this is a lot less tracks a lot a lot less appearances than we had before for grizzly bear Guy was over here. Oh, that was too fast. Fleeing. It says fleeing already. And now, of course, same situation with the polar bear. Sneak up. Um, try to, to shoot it from the distance. I can hear an animal. Is that stuck? Because that would be your last option. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Female, are you the one from before? Are you gonna maul me? Any interest? Hello? Hello? No attacking? Hello? Now turn around. Turn around and attack me. That used to be your behavior. New female, four beers now. So your theory is wrong. There's still a lot of beers. No, I think there's less beers now. No hunting video without a harvest. I was actually gonna not harvest any bear because the point here is polar bear and grizzly bear hunting has become a lot more difficult. They no longer behave like they used to when they were introduced. They had their own characteristics, but now they behave like brown bear. Good luck hunting these bear. You cannot lure them. You will have to hunt them by following them or getting really lucky like with this one. And the bear took me here to the lake so that I can say goodbye to you in a very pretty place. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you see the difference to before. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.